Yo, 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 what is going on, COD Familia? It is your boy, BN, aka Mr. Kingdom Builder, and today we are going to be talking about how to be an efficient and effective officer in our Everything You Need to Know Officer Guide video. So we're going to start off with, again, I have a nice slew of points here that we're going to be covering, but number one is going to be, what is an officer? What does an officer actually do? So an officer, in short, is an R4 of ranked or rolled in an alliance, right? You got four ranks here. Officers are rank four. So an officer essentially has certain permissions that are available to them in an alliance that are just under being a leader. You can see here that some of the things, for the most part, they have, it's really here at the bottom where you'll see the difference at union management. That's just the leader, edit alliance info, appoint officers, remove alliance buildings, uh, disband alliance, right? These are things that only the leader can do. Outside of that, officer can pretty much do everything else in the alliance, right? So that's why they're really important to be able when it comes to assist and help the alliance leader and the alliance management itself. Now, let's get to number two. Time spent per day in kind of daily tasks, if you will. So I believe, like I talked about in the leader video, I just don't think that there's a set amount of time that officers should have to absolutely abide by. I do, however, believe that officers in general should usually be a bit more active than your potentially maybe average player. Uh, now, sometimes you could also, and let me say and preface by appropriately saying, right, it doesn't mean that you have to be. I'm just saying in the average sense. And this is typically because as an officer, you usually have a little bit more of a hand on the pulse of what's happening with an alliance. Why? Well, because you could have more officers than a leader. So you, as a collective unit, can see more of what's happening. And you may be more often responding to players in game and interacting with them and conversing with them more so than a leader would who may be looking at more of the high level or the macro view for what goes into alliance management. So again, I would say at minimum, maybe a couple hours per day, right? I mean, I think that's probably safe. But I also want to state that depending on how well you multitask and how well your management skills are, you might be able to get something done in 30 minutes compared to maybe someone else who it takes an hour or two, right? Just to give an example. So again, bear that in mind. But the foolproof way is play with the alliance if you're going to be an officer and see how the day-to-day -day goes because you most likely will pick up things that you need to do or that you realize there's opportunities to do as you participate in your online every day. So just be cognizant of that. Uh, let's do number three, which is daily tasks, right? So I truly believe that officers should just be doing everything, right? I am not of the belief that an officer should only be doing one thing. As an officer, you should be essentially an assistant leader. You should be an, you should be able, a jack of all trades. You should be able to do everything and or be learning how to do everything that a leader would do just in case. Now, this goes from anything, and we may touch on some of these individual parts, but that could be anything from conducting diplomacy, recruiting, uh, ally, uh, technology pathing, uh, where the, our next flags are going to go, group chat management, etc. Then let's get to number four, uh, which is one of the things that I think you should always be doing as an officer that's really good is checking chats, right? And again, I just have a test alliance here. But as an example, let's say that Tamara's chat is my alliance chat, which is not. I would be scrolling through if I was off for the day, I would want to scroll through the chat a little bit and just see if there was any questions that went unanswered, any topics or information that they, they hit me at the worst time that you may be able to uh, assist by providing some extra context or uh, additional dialogue to that may help provide clarity to a discussion point that was brought up. It's always good to monitor your alliance chat for any of these opportunities. Then we get to uh, number five, which is recommended tech. You always want to make sure that your alliance tech is constantly going. You do not want to have a situation where your tech is not going, whether that is the ability to upgrade something or uh, invest points into something. You never want to have a situation where all of your techs are already max point and you're having to sit there and wait for techs to get upgraded. Now, you may eventually get to a certain point. You may get yourself to a point like this, but 
the hope is is that you're able to avoid it by always having some type of continuous stream of actions that are being done so you don't have any delay or very little delay time then uh, the next one here which is i think six let's get to uh checking direct messages this is pretty straightforward but i do just think it's important that as an officer you should always be going through and like i just showed you here with the tamaris chat go through every day and just check to make sure and see if you have any dms that you need to respond to or get back to people on and this could be let me point this out this could be not only in game but also on discord or whatever social media platform you might use outside of the game Oh, the next one is going to be checking applications and kind of processes to have something there. So I think it's really important to make sure that you are checking. Number two, I'm telling you, man, I got decent sleep last night. It's killing me. And you're checking applications. So you would go here and obviously there's none right now because we're not on invite only. But if your alliance was on invite only, you would be seeing player name, I believe it's affiliated region, the power they're at, and then maybe one or two other stats. And you should also have the ability to DM them from this window. But the idea here is that you're checking for applications. You are looking to try and uh, follow through with your process on whatever that may be for the alliance. Maybe you automatically accept. Maybe you DM them first. Follow those processes that you have set and you have in place with your alliance leader. So you have a good way of going about your actions that you should be doing with those applicants. Uh, the next one here is going to be conducting your role um, as an officer. Let's say you do get assigned a role or let's just say a kind of an optional role. Like I said before, I really believe that every officer should be able to do everything. But let's say you're just the point of contact. That's probably a better way of saying it. Let's say you're the point of contact for diplomacy or you're the point of contact for recruiting you're the point of contact for any kind of internal affairs or human resources within the alliance right it's important to have a process in place for how you're going to go about conducting that and making sure that any updates that you get throughout the day are being conveyed to the alliance leader and or to your officer slash management chats so that way everyone can be apprised of what's happening the next one here is going to be checking the calendar of events this is important so that way you can be up to date on what events are happening that day and be able to speak to those effects and those advantages or tips in Alliance chat and or being able to assist players in DMs as well. This will also and can factor into sending quality Alliance mails on what events are coming. So you should be checking this daily so that way you know what is currently happening. The next one here is going to be building flags. Now, we're not going to necessarily show you the building flags because we showed that in the leader video. But when it comes to building flags, the idea very similar to the tech or your alliance tech, you want to try and have continuous flag building that is occurring uh, as close to it, if not doing it. So that way you do not have any downtime and you're always able to take advantage of having a flag being built. Uh, the next one here is going to be like creating, modifying, and deleting markers. Now, markers are pretty simple for straightforward. I just have to press and hold. And you can see here, you press and hold an area, you unclick, and then you see this purple flag. This allows for me to make a marker. Marker. Maybe I'll just do this and I'll say prohibit. Okay, cool. Then I'm going to go here. Oh, excuse me. Jeez, see, this is where I have to remember now where I'm going for my marker editing and i bet you it's not here and it was exactly probably where where i had it let's see uh oh, so i don't want to share though maybe i can't edit here and all you can do is place so yeah and, and again there is a chance that i could just be missing it and i'm not seeing where i should be going to do that so yeah uh, if, if it's just in front of me and I'm missing it, apologies. But the short version here is that you need to be able to constantly be placing markers and or deleting outdated markers, right? That's a big one for me, deleting outdated markers. Always make sure that markers are up to date so you have a clear understanding of what is what needs to be paid attention to and or done that day. And then you're refreshing or again, deleting markers that you just don't need anymore for that day or for something that has already passed. Then let's talk about how to do things like a tech power donation audit. We talked about this in the leader video, but the short version here is you put together a spreadsheet, you have a power column, you have a tech column, and then every one to two days, one to three days, you will go at, at the same time or as relative to the same time as you can, you'll go through your member list 
and your leaderboards and you'll jot down what those numbers are. This will allow for you to keep track of activity within the alliance because to be honest, someone could be powering up and maybe they're not donating or maybe they're donating, but they're not powering up anymore. So these are things that you want to pay attention to because there is no way, at least at the time of this video's recording, to check uh, how active or when the last time someone was online. But it's still, even if that enters the game, remember, it still may not tell the full story compared to you doing your own individual tracking. And so it's important that everyone should be doing this. And the best way to do this from an officer level is you assign one person to do it depending on what your interval is. So let's say you do it every two days. Well, you got four officers. That means one person is doing it every eight days, right? That's not that much, I don't want to say pressure, but it's not that much work to do if you spread the load out between your team. Now, uh, let's talk about, uh, con uh, we already touched on that. Let's do sending alliance mails. Um, and I did, I did brief, I did mention this a little bit before, but to me, sending alliance mails is really important. I think every officer should understand and know how to send alliance mails, whether that be formatting them using HTML code, uh, because you never know when you may be needed to step up, especially if others are not online. So everyone should be learning how to send quality and efficient alliance mails that are formatted, they're spaced out a little bit, they don't come off as a wall of text, and you're putting some effort and some thought into it. Then we have communication. Now, communication to me really kind of falls under how your management team communicates to the players, but also beyond that, the relationship between a leader and an officer. As an officer, you are in short an extension of the leader. You are a frontline communicator outside of what you already are doing in the role. It's important to understand that having good communication and transparency between the leader and the officer team, where you're working together as a cohesive unit, and then realizing that depending on what the goals of that alliance are, the standards that the leader has set, as an officer, you should be looking to do your best job to support the leader and to, again, be an extension of that person when it comes to reiterating things, providing friendly reminders in chats, uh, reaching out to players if a, a correction or some, or a change is maybe needed to be made that needs to fall, fall in line with what, again, the atmosphere or the policies or processes that have been created by the alliance so that's really important uh, and then i guess my last one here when it comes to kind of my conclusion and wrap up i would say is professional conduct i think it's very important that as a member of an alliance remember you are also a representative of that alliance so it's important that you are upholding and living up to the standards that hopefully members of management should be now, whether or not you care or you take your job serious or not, you are still an officer and that is someone who's in a management position, right? If you are there to it, if you are there and you have 50, 60, 100, 150 members in the alliance, that's a level of care, responsibility, and accountability you should take pride in, right? So you, so you should be there to also support, assist, and be a steward to the players in your alliance so they can have a great day-to-day -day experience every time they log in. I think with that being said, that is gonna do it for me. Now this may not cover every single aspect, but I do think this covers a good amount. And for anything that you may do as an officer that I did not list, I would love to hear. Let me know in the comments down below. That is gonna be it for me. As always, until next time, I will catch you later.